Did you know that sea grasses are flowered in plants just like grass on land? They have leaves that photosynthesize, roots that absorb nutrients, and flowers and seeds that disperse in the water to reproduce. Just like trees on land, sea grasses act as carbon sinks and deposit most carbon in the sediment beneath them. Sea grasses can also form large underwater meadows called seagrass beds. These beds are usually found around islands and on reef flats in shallow water areas protected from wave action. The sea grasses act as a nursery for many species of reef and deep sea fish. The females come to the lagoon to lay the eggs. After hatching, the newly emerged fish live feed and hide between the blades of grass from predators. They remain there until they are big and strong enough to leave the protected shallow lagoon and become part of life on the coral reefs. Seagrasses are also an important food source for grazing animals such as threatened green turtles that eat about 2 kg of seagrass every day. Seagrass roots help stabilize sediments by keeping the soil together. Like plants on land, their roots stretch into the sand like a network and hold the sand together. This helps reduce beach erosion around the islands. But sadly, seagrass beds are being lost around the globe at an estimated rate of 0.4 to 7% per year. A startling 29% has already disappeared. The key factors that contribute to seagrass imbalance are excessive nutrients that seep into the sea from sewage food waste and fertilizers, sedimentation which is when sand and other particles in the water block the sun from reaching the sea grasses, and dredging and various forms of pollution. But the good thing is, there are ways we can help bring balance to the ecosystem. You can avoid disposing food waste into the sea using artificial fertilizers, herbicides and discarding plastic. Plastics will smother the sea grasses and excessive nutrients will favor the growth of algae in the water that blocks sunlight from reaching the sea grass. Make sure that the island sewage outflow is at least 40 meters away and deep from the reef crest. And of course, treat the sewage before it is drained into the sea. Educate locals and visitors of the importance of sea grasses to maintain a healthy and productive marine environment in the Maldives.